Hey, is Jai Courtney back in this one? He's not? Oh, all right, thanks. So Jack Reacher Never Go Back is a sequel to the 2012 film, which I was actually a pretty big fan of. I was a little confused at why that movie got such a lukewarm response. I thought it was a different enough role for Tom Cruise. It's more of like a visceral, dark version of Ethan Hunt. All the fight scenes were really good. The car chase scenes were really good. Never Go Back takes place a couple of years after the original film. Tom Cruise is still a drifter, going across the U.S., solving all these different cases. Kobe Smulders plays a character in this. She's a major in the U.S. military and she's kind of the one who's helping him solve a lot of these cases. Gets set up for this espionage crime. Tom Cruise comes in to save her, and so we have our movie. Tom Cruise is great as always. He's one of the few actors that I can honestly really struggle to find one movie that he has phoned in or half-assed or haven't really given his all to. This guy brings it to every role and every movie he's in. Whether the movie's good or not, Tom Cruise is always good. Kobe Smulders, I don't really have a whole lot of experience with her. I never watched How I Met Your Mother. I've seen her here and there in the Marvel movies. She's hit or miss in this movie. She's got some good scenes, but a lot of the scenes that try to sell you that she's a badass, that she can fight alongside Jack Reacher, I never really bought into it. There's some interrogation scenes and some scenes where she has to really get in somebody's face or just it looks like she's trying too hard. It looked like an actress trying to be tough, not a character who's tough. Where I felt the first movie really succeeded, it had a really good engaging story, there was a good mystery to it, Tom Cruise was a really mysterious character, the fight scenes were kick-ass, there were some really good car chases. All of those don't quite succeed as well in this movie. The whole setup to this plot felt a little bit rushed to me. We're introduced to Kobe Smulders and her relationship to Tom Cruise's character Jack Reacher in the opening credits of this movie, so we don't get to know her that well and he really doesn't even know her at the beginning of this movie. Suddenly she's in peril and he's just putting everything on the line to save her. It felt a lot like the setup to the mechanic resurrection to me. Just You have an attractive woman and you have to save her because she's an attractive woman. There's some good fight scenes in here, but there's no fight scene that really stands out like the couple that we got in the first movie. There's a good fight scene involving four guys in like this little warehouse. The ending fight scene between Tom Cruise and this guy who's been pursuing him and kind of rivaling him through this movie was really good. It was real visceral and brutal. And after the movie gets going, just the whole mystery and the whole plot that we're meant to buy into why Tom Cruise and Colby Smulders are trying to solve involving some soldiers that got killed in Afghanistan that may or may not have been friendly fire. It wasn't all that interesting to me. I really didn't care about the resolution. I didn't care who was guilty. It just... I was just going through the motions, just kind of waiting for the end of the story to play out or something really cool or out of left field to happen, and it never really came. On top of all that, this movie's runtime goes on way too long. I was shocked when I got out of the theater and I checked the runtime for this movie and found out it was only a few minutes short of two hours when it felt like three, three and a half easy. And one thing they could have done to easily rectify that problem, there's a subplot that they introduce in this about this young girl that may or may not be Tom Cruise's daughter that he never really realized that he fathered. They could have cut that story out completely. This movie would have been way better for it because not only is it a distraction from the main plot, but his daughter or maybe daughter in this movie was one of the most aggravating, irritating, just annoying characters that I have seen in an action movie in a long time. I hated this character. She was just a cliche, generic, stock, badly written, 15-year-old, pain-in-the-ass girl. And every scene she was in, damn near, is just her arguing or challenging authority or trying to do whatever Tom Cruise and Kobe Smulders told her not to do. And I'm just like, bitch, they have saved you like four times in the past half an hour. Sit down and shut up. There was like two or three times in this movie where just a simple bit of instructions she cannot listen to and she puts them all in so much danger that it just pissed me off and I could care less if she survived the movie. They're like, listen, do not touch a cell phone, do not call, do not text, do not tweet. They will find you, they will kill you. And she's just like, yeah, 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 all right guys, all right, have fun. Hashtag, parents suck. I understand what they were trying to do. They were trying to give a more humanizing element to Jack Reacher. They were trying to give him an extra motivation besides the fact that he wants to fuck Kobe Smulders. And it just didn't work. They did not write that character well enough. They did not make you care about her. I hated her. I wanted her off the screen as soon as possible. I didn't feel like the main villain was written all that well either, to be honest. You know, his main motivation in this movie is he sees Jack Reacher be a badass and he decides, you know what? 
I want to be more of a badass than him, so I'm just going to stalk him throughout the movie and kind of toy with him and, you know, prove that my dick is bigger than his. To wrap all this up, guys, I enjoyed the hell out of the first Jack Reacher movie, and I was really glad they got a sequel because I feel like this could be a franchise, but unfortunately, the writing and some of the characters and the lack of really memorable action in this movie is probably going to prevent this from going past this movie Never Go Back. Tom Cruise brings it as always, and Jack Reacher is a really cool character that I feel like could have been a great action franchise. But unfortunately, this is just a serviceable, forgettable sequel. So if you want to check out Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, check it out on Netflix. So what did you guys think of Jack Reacher, Never Go Back? Were you a fan of the original movie? Did you hope that this movie was going to carry through to make a franchise? Were you as aggravated as I was at his maybe daughter character? Put all that in the comment section below and we'll talk about it. Please like and share this video and hit that subscribe button. That way you get to come back and see me next time. But if that's not soon enough to check out some more of my videos, you can check out a few more by clicking right over here.